Yes, I'm back. I ran out of time. I have a lot to say to this fella. Because I just got another, I have another email. Talking about my cost video. Hey man, I sent you a lot of PMs. No disrespect to you, bro. Anyways, let me say this one more thing. You say women can sense creepiness, but if they could sense a guy's creepiness, why are they getting with guys that leave him pregnant and skip town? That has nothing to do with creepiness. Those are the guys who have that masculine energy. Those bad boys. Okay, that's a different energy. Please understand that. I need you to start using your head and thinking. You're thinking, everything you seem to think, this is the same fellow, fellow, fellas, the same guy who, who obviously considers himself, considers himself unattractive. What he doesn't realize is most of the guys on the internet are basically unattractive too, or they got something going on. Like some guys, they, you know, they look cool in their hats, they take it off, the head goes way up, you know, big weird shaped heads. Uh, many of the guys are balding at an early age. Some guys have height issues. Some guys are just plain butt ugly. That's what brings them to the internet. That, like many of them are just unattractive. He thinks he's alone. I don't think there's too many of the three percenters on this channel or on the internet searching for answers. Okay? There's some guys who are who are girls who say he's cute. But that is that's not three percenter, by the way. That's not three percenter. Okay. But they're shy. That's a, a small percentage also, but the majority of us are, are just average or below average. That's why we got issues. That's why women, you know, aren't turned on by us. So we got to learn to make ourselves better looking. You say, okay, let's go on to this. Why are they getting with the guys who abuse them? Okay, leave them dead and Okay. Not all women are getting with guys that leave them dead in a dumpster. Okay? How many times do you read that every day, all day long? Right? See, you, your, I don't know what your mind is. Your mind is in some weird place. Creepy place, actually. Now that you, you mention it. I don't know what you've done to yourself. You, you've made yourself so creepy that you've actually put out a profile of model dudes just to punish yourself, to show you that you're not good enough. Do you see what you did? You probably can't see what I'm saying. You probably won't even, even feel this, but this is what you did to yourself. All this is all about your own self punishment. Okay, let's see. All people who say that it's only about, okay. Are you a TFLer? I didn't even check that. Let me. Pull your channel. You sound like a TFLer. Let's see. Nope, this is a. Um, oh, it's a brand new channel, so I don't know who you are. I don't know what that bullshit was about. Keep anonymous. You've only got two channel views, no uploads. Joined May twentieth, two thousand eleven. That's a brand new channel. And you're using a black name, but you put country Taiwan. I don't know. I don't know. I'm beginning. Oh, man, this is a book you wrote, too. You've got so much. You've got to be a TFLer in disguise. Okay, I'm. You say you got a bro who's only 5'3 and played professional basketball. That's one. I, I don't know what you're talking about. Uh, by the way, one example you give me of an ugly guy with a hot girl, it will, I will give you 100 examples of 100 other guys. Ugly guy. Okay, you are a TFLer coming on my channel. Oh, great. I wish I'd figured that out before. Okay, this channel is for men, Walter, that are trying to improve themselves. Okay. If you're so stuck 
in the dark that you can't see your way out. I'm not going to waste any more of my time and this channel's time on men like you. I know that sounds cold and all that, but you got to recognize that I have other men who want help. You don't want help. You just want to whine about your life and how handsome guys get this and that. I already knew that shit. Okay. I spent my life unattractive and I made myself good looking. I worked my body out. I, I grew the goatee. I shaved off my balding head. That made me more attractive. So I did what I could to better myself, like I do in everything that I do. If you're one of those guys that's like to stay in the dark and down and out, fine. I can't say anything to you. There's nothing I can do to help you. When you're ready for help, come on back. Let's see, let's go on to the next email. And I know you're probably going to write me, but I asked you not to bother. Uh, Eyes Open writes, I just purchased your 20 nights of nightclub dancing. Good for you. You made a great decision. Okay, I'm gonna give you, you the base, the base that you need. So you can take this anywhere after that. You'll be able to watch these dance videos and pick up moves because you'll know how to feel the beat. You'll have your rhythm. I'm going to teach you a dance routine, just like as if you were a competitive dancer. And inside that dance routine, as I build on each day's skills, you'll see all the dance moves you can use in the club. Okay? The slide, you know, the footwork, everything. Okay? So when you get to the club, after you learn that dance routine, uh, Break it apart into little simple moves because you're going to practice simple moves by themselves anyway. And just remember those moves and do them on the floor. But when you get to dancing um, with women, you're not going to be using those. Okay. And when I said do them on the floor, I meant, you know, when you're standing on the side with your fellas, you know, I know you're probably going to go out with other dudes. You know, just do some of those little moves. Let, let people know you can dance. That's all it takes. I'm not saying get on the floor, skip around like a fruit waving glow sticks okay so um you get you're in for a good treat looks like you didn't hit the return the merchant but i already saw your order this morning and i sent you your your link i i do it as a backup but i'm not gonna have to do that anymore because i'm going to be moving that channel to my or that site to i'm i got a program that will do it all automatically when you, after you pay, you'll be taken to your first lesson. And nobody will be able to get into it. You won't be able to download shit. It'll be password protected. So you'll be getting given a password. So every time you go there, it's, it's, it's going gonna, it's gonna to be the bomb. That way I can put new shit in there and don't have to worry about it. people stealing it anymore. Thank, I thank Jason Flatland. All right. Let's go on to the next one. Uh, Cody says, thank you for your public speaking advice. It helped. I made people interested in what I present. I was a little nervous, but it was good. P.S. It was a presentation about the universe in high school. Okay. Good for you, Cody. I'm glad it worked out for you. I hope you uh, did do the uh, split focus concentration and all that stuff. But uh, whatever you did, it worked, and I'm glad it worked for you. Okay, I, I, I'm really disturbed by the uh, fellow who I spent most of the last hour talking to. And I feel like I, I wasted my time. And I wasted you guys' time. I should have recognized a TFLer. Because that's what they preach. You know, I'm not attractive and the doom and gloom but don't you guys who are struggling and you guys who are working yourselves don't listen to people like that okay all they'll do is bring you down because they're down there's a saying about black folks that we're like a bucket of crabs when one crab tries to crawl out and better itself get away the other crabs will pull it back down and i don't know if that's true or not but I could do see I do see elements of that within my race. 
the fellow that I was dealing with, he's at the bottom. And all he's going to do is keep shitting on himself. He's going to keep finding more reasons why he is not good enough. Okay? And, and if you look for enough reasons, you're going to find them. Every time you look, you'll find it. I can look right now and say, well, look. Look at my face. I'm too fat. Yet still, I, I went to uh, Walmart yesterday and bought some mats, exercise mats. Two choosing signals. One from a woman, nice looking woman, in her 30s, walking in. Another from, uh, I think she might have been a little bit younger, with her boyfriend, assisted this time. And sisters don't normally look at me. But I, I don't know what. It might have been the tank top I was wearing. So anyway, uh, I could say, you know, because I'm, I, I gained all that belly fat that I'm unattractive, but if I look for those reasons, that's what it, it would come out to. But it's not true. Okay? If you buy into those, then it becomes true. I refuse to buy into that stuff, actually. I may tease, my, tease you guys, you know, I talk down to myself about my little belly here and all that. I, I, I'm not that hung up on it. You gotta have confidence in yourself, fellas. Those of you guys who are unattractive, that's one of the things that you guys gotta have, okay? Good looking people, they're confident in their looks. They actually don't have true confidence though. Because if uh, they lost their looks, they wouldn't know what to say to a girl. These are the type of people that hate to age. So you guys who are average and below average, you're the ones who have to build true confidence, though. You've got to build your base. Hopefully, I've given you guys all the tools that you need, okay? That to, first of all, build your confidence. We have the confidence program to dance. We got our basic dance program to get into the internet dating. I got that. Uh, to learn how to meet girls, I got my seven steps. Learn how to fuck them up in the head, I got my female mind seduction. This is all the stuff that I went through growing in my game. If I was like the guy earlier, I never would have got there. I never would have got there. I never would have started teaching aerobics. I would have said, I'm too ugly, okay? And by the way, before I started teaching, I was overweight. I had a bad car accident and I gained I only weighed 190, but at 190, I, I had no muscle. You know, I was right out of high school, going to college, and um, my average weight then, before that, was 160. So you imagine 30 pounds, and I had, I had three rolls in my stomach, flabby rolls. It's interesting how after you put on muscle, you know, 190, I was ripped. So, uh, in the recent years, you know, when I was, before I, uh, my little brother passed, I was 225. Before that, I was 215. And that's where I'd like to stay is between 215, 225. And, you know, I was cut and ripped. But going back all those years at 190, I was fat. And if I let that stop me, I never would have started teaching a class. Some people have a such a low self-esteem they can't accomplish anything in life and i wonder what this guy's life is like he's that down on himself i bet being around him he gives off a creepy negative vibe he's so down on himself because he's gonna be looking at all the good looking guys and you know sweating them on them and jealous of them and, and people who feel that stuff you give off an aura of negativity I told you guys about my own mom's. You know, the lights on her in her house are the dimmest lights in the whole street. She sucks the life out of the out of the buildings, out of her, her house. You don't want to be like that. I hope this brother actually wakes up and realizes what he's doing to himself. I doubt it. People like that, they're so usually so deep in the dark, they will never wake up. But I do wish him luck and well but i will not waste another uh show on that kind of negativity okay peace fellas